Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Saturday. It is the end of the month. Tomorrow is the first, and I want to go ahead and give you guys one last podcast for the month. So I hope everybody's doing good this evening. So I have wanted to talk about the whole Mike Epps situation. A lot, a lot of people have been sending me this viral picture of Mike Epps' daughter and a caption that he put on the picture. But before I even go there, it's funny that this little girl's once again trending, you know what I'm saying, through no fault of her own. If you guys remember a few years ago when she was first born, there was some controversy. Mike Epps had posted a picture of her, and he says, allow us to introduce our newest addition to the family, Indiana Rose Epps. She's rolling her eyes already. We are so grateful. Thank you, God, for a healthy baby. Very adorable, cute little girl. And then Christina Millan, she comes underneath that picture, and she goes, wow, beautiful, so exotic, wow. So a lot of people kind of felt away. And they're saying like, okay, why are you calling this child exotic? Um, You know, people are saying, are you saying that she's exotic because, you know, her super light skin? Is it the shape of her eyes? Why is it always Eurocentric features are seen as exotic? And so there was a bit of controversy. But like I said, that wasn't Mike Epps' fault. It was something that Christina Millian said. And so when I saw the most recent picture of Mike Epps' daughter, I did not understand the hoopla. You know, and I, it almost came off like it was a bunch of bitter women that were mad that his daughter had a particular hair texture because all I remember was that picture that went viral and Christina Millian saying that the little girl was exotic. So I had assumed that that was his daughter's real hair texture. And so in this picture with Mike Epps, he writes her hair, smiley face, heart emoji. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this little girl is so adorable. She doesn't really look like him, you know, but she's just really cute. To me, she looks like a little Hispanic or a little Indian baby. But I'm like, okay, that's his daughter. She's grown up. Kudos to him. Cute girl. I really didn't understand the caption, her hair, but okay, her hair. And so a lot of people like getting upset, like, oh, why did he caption it her hair? You know, he's tripping. He's so obsessed with her hair. This is just weird and things like that. And like I said, I didn't really understand like why people were upset. I'm like, are y'all upset by the girl's hair texture? Because obviously she cannot help her hair texture. So I don't get this. So then more people started digging, okay, on his Instagram. And they realized that he had posted a picture a few days before this one. And this was the real picture of the little girl. And as you see, she does not have long hair. Her hair is not straight. And even her face looks a lot different in the original picture than on the one with her and the dad in the pool. And in this picture, he wrote the real Mike Epps. He has a little smiley face emoji, palm trees, and a wave. And so a lot of people were like, okay, this is just weird. Why would you put a, a why would you put an entire filter on your daughter and then a filter that makes her look more Eurocentric with the straight hair? You know, um, even her eyes look a little bit different. They look maybe a little bit lighter. So a lot of people have been talking about this. And initially I thought it was just, okay, it's a filter issue. People are upset about the filter. But then um, I had to remember that Mike Epps was involved in a lot of controversy a few years ago with his older daughter, okay? At the time his daughter was 18 and she had recorded um, Mike Epps on the phone, basically you know, disrespecting her, calling out her name, threatening to kill her and stuff like that. So she leaked it to TMZ. So a lot of people saw Mike Epps in a different light. I think I did a video about it way back then as well. But now on top of that, I could take this as simply a filter if he hadn't been, you know, basically going in on his daughter, his full black daughter back in the day and saying that her and the mother looks like James Brown. And another thing I remember when I talked about this, I believe on my live stream, maybe a few weeks ago, maybe a year ago, but I was saying that a lot of men, you know, they date who's economically available to them at the time. So a lot of these guys, you know, when they're in the hood, when they're broke, when they're struggling, most of the women that they have access to are just regular schmegler women, right? But as they get more money, all of a sudden they're able to expand, quote unquote, their palette. 
they're able to go and fly to the Dominican Republic. They're able to fly to Spain and, you know, to go to all these quote unquote exotical places and get exotical women, right? And so his so-called joke is a perfect example of what I was saying way back then. He was saying when he was broke, all he could pull was bitches who looked like James Brown. I'm like, wow, that's still the mother of your child. And then he's saying that basically the daughter looks like James Brown too. And she's just jealous because his other kids, now that he has money, he's able to remember, expand his palette of women. And so he's saying that she's jealous of the fact that his other kids are cuter and they have good hair. So it was just a really disturbing comedy bit. So I found it. I'm going to go ahead and play for you guys. Check this out. <laughs> Well, she tried to put me on the phone and make me tell her I was gonna kill her on the phone. Cause I done did it before. <laughs> Bitch, I kid you. <laughs> Cause that's what parents do. They get mad at the kids and tell them, I kid your ass. You don't mean it, shit. She's trying to record me, talking about do what you said you always gonna do. I said, what's that? You know. <laughs> I said, I done been set up with cocaine. I know I ain't finna let you set me up. Some bullshit. And I knew her Thundercat looking ass mama had something to do with it. This bitch coached her into it. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. And don't tell my motherfucker I said this. I didn't know I was gonna make it back in the day. And I was fucking girls that looked like James Brown. And we had a baby now. The baby's 18, half me, half James Brown. Now all my older ugly kids want to fight my new cute kids. <laughs> they pinching them, little bitch. Cutting their hair off. My little daughter came in there looking like Lance Armstrong one night. What the fuck was your hair go? <laughs> So you guys just heard that. So a lot of people, when he first said that, a lot of people excuse it. They're like, oh, it's just a joke. He's on stage. It's just comedy. And I get that. But then he said it again in an interview. And then at that point, I'm like, well, does he really feel this way about, you know, his daughter? Does he really feel like she's jealous of her quote unquote cuter siblings or his siblings with quote unquote good hair? Because he's said this twice. So here goes a clip of him in an interview saying the same thing about his child and his baby's mother. Check this out. Man, is everything okay now? No, no, you know. <laughs> you know my daughter went off on me. Yeah, I, what happened? You know how it go, man. It's hard raising teenagers, man. As soon as, <laughs> soon as they get a certain age, they want to start challenging. You have to remember, you have to remind them that that's my scrotum talking to me. <laughs> that's what you tell your kids. Next time, fellas, when they talk crazy, say, man, up. Uh, my balls are talking crazy. <laughs> okay. No, I tell you who it was. It was her. It was the uh, the James Brown looking baby mama that did it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I keep telling about this. Like, whoo, she was ugly. I said I didn't know I was gonna make it. <laughs> I was I was dating girls that looked like James Brown before I got into <laughs> it. But she was probably holding you down. She you was. know, kid, you gotta bring it. Hey, y'all, let's go with that. Yeah. Don't defend James Brown. <laughs> All right, so you guys just heard that. So, you know, that was two times that he said the same disparaging remarks about his child who has more black features. And I don't know who this little girl's mother is. I've never really went to go look her up. I'm assuming she's either mixed or racially ambiguous. You know, I'm not sure. But I just think it's like really sad that he felt the need to put a filter on her. Maybe for him, it's just a joke. And she's a gorgeous little girl. You know, she doesn't need the filter. She doesn't need, you know, the extended hair. She is just adorable with just her little curls. So, you know, a lot of people are dragging him about this. A lot of people are like really upset. They're calling him a colorist and a coon and all that stuff. But I also have to keep it real. You know me, I'm always going to be fair. He is not the only person who does this. 
Other celebrities have done the same thing with their kids, put them in these beauty filters. Non-celebrities have been doing this. I've been seeing people putting more and more filters on their children that are not those filters that make them look like a puppy or a cat or, you know, a butterfly or, or a teddy bear. I'm not talking about those filters. I'm talking about flat out beauty filters with their kids with makeup. I remember Khloe Kardashian was drugged because when she first showed us her baby True, the first thing she showed us was True with a huge filter on her face. You know, and people were like, well, why are you putting a filter on her face? It's because she's darker. She doesn't have a lot of hair. You know, it seems like you're ashamed of her. Why are you adding freckles? And it's weird. But it's weird how sometimes people project their own insecurities onto their children. But like I said, he's not the only one who has done this. I remember a year ago, Portia Williams did the same thing with her daughter. And I wasn't feeling it. And a lot of people were like, oh, it's okay. What's the big deal? Who cares? But if you guys remember, she posted this with her daughter with the full beauty makeup filter on. And a lot of people thought, you know, it was cute and there was nothing wrong with it. Let him know, pee. All right. So you guys just saw that. And then on top of that, you know, there's been pictures of Northwest, Baby True, you know, with all of them with filters on their face. You know, this picture has Northwest. She has lashes. Her eyes are lighter. She has eyeliner, a mole, you know, and a lot of people look at this stuff like it's just, you know, it's, it's a joke. It's just fun. You know, it's just something for kids to do. But I always look at stuff a lot deeper. And I feel like, you know, it's one thing of a, if adults want to live their life behind Facetune and filters and, you know, changing up their pictures and Photoshopping. They even Photoshop videos. Like I found that out the other day. I'm like, how the hell do you Photoshop a live video? But it can be done. So it's really insane how a lot of things on social media are not what we think they are. And we're so busy comparing ourselves to mirages. That's how I look at this. These filters, these looks, it's all mirages. Had I not seen that original picture of Mike Epps' daughter, I would have just assumed that the picture of the little girl in the pool is how his daughter looks. I, I thought nothing else about it. I assumed that's how she really looked. So to see such a stark difference to me was kind of sad that he felt the need to put a filter on her. And yeah, maybe he did it as a joke, but his past behavior makes me feel like that is the type of hair texture that he likes and that he goes for, especially now that he has money. And I think the saddest part in all this that a lot of people are not even really talking about. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.